bitch. Maybe I'm macho lead, bitch. You ain't got no cheese, bitch. Maybe I'm just too G for you. Maybe I'm just too screed, bitch. I can eat rolling pee, why? Everybody notice me, yeah. I can even go to sleep, why? I'm rolling on the bin, yeah. They tried to give me eight, got on my knee like Jesus, please. You don't need to live in Jesus. Why you got a Jesus, please? If you wanna leave, just leave. But you ain't gonna lie. What's up, homie? Fuck your murder and that. Traffic. for this one right here. I remember back when I was weaker, I hit 800 for one. Everyone would say, hey, Ronnie Coleman hit 800 for two, this and that. And I was like, shit, you know, just being compared to Ronnie, I was like, I'll take it, you know? But now, fuck the 800, we're going for 850 plus, 865. We're about to check this shit out right now, you know? 800 for two, probably got that shit for like four or five right now. So it's time to get this money. Hey, I made it. About to kick this bitch off, baby. It's time to bleed.
All right, so today was the last heavy death session for me, Pitt, and Bruce. Um, we worked up to top singles today. Um, shit, it was a hell of a day. A lot of weight was being pulled today. What did, uh, what did uh, Pitt do today? So Pitt hit 7.05. Um, we have some, we've been going to have some ongoing problems with his, uh, his grip and his hands. We're doing a lot of mobility stuff that he can actually reach his hand underneath and it's over under. So we're having uh, a lot of problems with that, but then we're still working. So. Today I let him put wraps on um, because it's still a work in progress. And by the time uh, comp comes, his grip's gonna totally be there. Uh, so he worked up to 705, hit his last set with wraps, so wrist wraps, and then uh, hit a previous set of 640 before that without, just to get a good feel of the weight. Uh, Bruce worked up to six, I think uh, exactly, it's like six or 727 um, with the kilos and everything. Um, same thing with him, he, he actually has carpal tunnel um, he has a lot of problems with his wrist, so he can't, actually can't engage his muscle groups right there. So he's been getting shots uh, for that to alleviate that pain so he can actually start using his hands again. Uh, so we let him use straps on his last set too. Uh, both of them failed their first rep. Um, so uh, you always hear us talk about the dead game stuff. So um, we had no quit in our blood, so we just put the wraps on and then we're gonna hit that shit again. So Both PRs uh, too, both right? PRs, huge PRs. Pibble's never pulled over 700 pounds conventional. And uh, Bruce, before this training cycle had only hit like um, right below seven training and it was like a complete grind and today he, he smoked that shit pretty easily. Um, so really good day, uh, really good day for both those guys. Hell yeah, and then today um, I worked up, I did one set of 815, then I worked to my top set 865 and I'm probably not gonna reveal, you know, to leave a little bit of, um, how do you say it? Suspense. Yeah, a little suspense, Suspenseful. you know what I mean? Let, <laughs> let my competition mind, mind think, you know, what I got in the tank. Um, 
So yeah, I put 865 on the bar, and you'll, you know, you saw, you saw what happened, but you know, gotta, gotta leave a little suspense and stuff. You know what I mean? I can't tell the whole story. You gotta come watch it. Uh, May 12th, May 13th for the U.S. Open 2018. It's about to be a battle. There's a lot of big heavy hitters coming out. And you know, we're coming with our A game. And it's, a, it's about to be a war, a battle, and we live for this shit, you know? And um, it's not just a physical battle, it's a, it's a mind game too, you know what I mean? If you can't handle the mind pressure, then this ain't the game for you. So, you know what I mean? So all the competition out there, I want them to come in at their best, at their top peak, and uh, let's battle, you know what I mean? Bring out the best in me. Bring out the best in me. That battle brings out the best. Same with the rest of the guys. So, um, hell yeah, let's get it. Um, just appreciate you guys following day in, day out. Uh, we got two more heavy sessions. We got a heavy bench on Monday, and we got a heavy uh, squat on uh, Tuesday. And then what else we got after that? So it'll be just a little bit of uh, light lifting after that. It's just basically uh, not just laying down. And every, some people actually just stop lifting. Um, but there's a science behind what we do. So actually hitting weights that will make sure that the weights that our strength isn't dropping, but it's maintaining and growing at the same time. So that's what a, a peak and a taper is. So, so then you'll see how we actually pull back the reins and then get to see how, how we recover the right way. So that on game day, we feel more than 100% than we did um, during training. Hell yeah, and if you guys want to know the breakdown and what we do, you, you're more than welcome to go online like we've been speaking about this whole time and get the dead game training program or the um, heavy hitter size and strength program as well. So, uh, yeah, check it out at strengthcartel.com. I mean, it's going to break it down, cut some programs to your exact lifts and body type and everything that you want to accomplish. So, if that's what you're looking for and this is not enough, what we're giving you through the video, um, you're welcome to go to strengthcartel.com. So, uh, you're about to uh, oh, yeah. talk about the gun too that they also, yeah. up with? Uh, third gun, they actually sent us a free gun um, just because of what we're doing and um, how the guys are just killing themselves in, the, in and out of the gym. Um, they actually little, did a little scripture for us too for the strength cartel on the, on the bottom, so that was tight. Yeah. Um, you can go to their website, theragun.com, I think, I'm not even sure, but that's what it's called, it's their gun. Uh, this thing actually worked wonders for Bruce today. Um, he has a lot of ankle mobility problems and calf mobility problems, so I actually just dug in on his uh, calf and his ankle, and he was actually able to sit down a lot further in his deadlift, which actually helped him do a lot more leg drive uh, oh, yeah. through his deadlift. I worked on big boy's lower back and his mid back. Um, he's had a couple of ongoing problems with that too, and then big, uh, Pitbull, biggest thing with his forearms, how tight they are, so we worked, did a lot of work with his forearms, and um, every single one of them said they felt better almost immediately after they did it. Um, just the breakdown is that you never really want to stretch um, before you lift. So when you stretch your, your muscle groups, they actually stretch out like this, it stretches the fibers, and it's like a rubber band. If you keep taking a rubber band and doing like this, it becomes weak. It'll actually sometimes snap, so that's where you get injuries from. Um, so you never want to take your, your muscles, stretch it out, and hold it, because then it stretches out, and it takes time for it to get back to that normal size. Uh, so something like this, it's almost similar to like a foam rolling, stuff like that. It's actually, it'll loosen the muscle group without actually elongating the fibers. So you're not at a higher risk Make of tearing them muscle. too, huh? Exactly, so a lot more blood flow. Um, so then if you do warm up, use dynamic, dynamic stretches so it's more movement. Uh, more sport specific type of stuff. So doing deadlifts to warm up and not trying to actually stretch those muscle groups as long as you can. Hell yeah. Thing worked wonders today. Hell yeah. Um, yeah, and the next big thing we got coming up, obviously will be the US Open, May 12th, 13th. If you guys wanna come out and support, it'll be at the San Diego Convention Center. Um, pull up, you know, show support to the heavy hitters. After that, June 2nd and 3rd, we'll be in Houston, Texas for the American Fit Expo. And that shit gets cracking off the hook right there. Looking forward to seeing everyone out there in Houston, showing love and just can't wait to see everybody. Appreciate day in, day out. You guys rolling with us? Keep banging them weights, heavy hitter. Fucking go to. The one right there, so the one with, uh, Korean barbecue. Go to massage? Yeah, I don't like that fucking Korean barbecue shit. Oh, uh, what are we good? The, uh, oh. okay. You got the cocktail actually, last time? I, actually, this time I'm gonna get the, the noodles today. I'm gonna get a couple. Uh, actually, you know what? I can mix it with the pork. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, look at making a drop that. Oh, just tell him no.
You're making it nervous, though. Yeah, you're a bully, dog. You're making it nervous. <laughs> no, she's all like, nervous around you, bro. You're just fucking scared. Hey, you're the one that's scared when you back into her, oh. First time with this. She didn't even come the next time. I think that's it. She's over there. Damn, over there. Holy bomb. Oh, no, 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 no